Hey, what's going on everybody? Shane here. Uh, so, first things first. This is in fact a box from... Dun dun dun! Airsoft GI. I decided to give them a second chance. I ordered some of their mystery boxes and they come in. I'm going to do a video for each of them. Because I actually don't know which one is which. They're not marked or anything of three separate boxes. So I'm going to have to figure out which one is which after I open it look at the packing slip. So this is Airsoft GI box. I don't know what it is. We'll check the packing slip and check it out, right? I think I got the Boaz box, Kevin's box, and I got a regular YouTube box. Let's dig in. So when I picked this box up, I heard BBs rolling around everywhere. I hope I'm not about to get trolled. Okay, so some BBs got annihilated in here, looks like. There's a lot of BBs rolling around this thing. I'm a little scared as to what that means. Get that out of here. Decided not to put a packing slip in here, so I don't know which box this is. I'll have to figure it out. Okay, first things first, we got us a high speed magazine, 130 round mid cap Lancer Tactical. These magazines are pretty good. I don't have a problem with them. I got a couple of them over here. They feed well. Uh, very basic magazines, and they're not too bad on the price point. I think they're like 15 bucks. And 130 rounds is kind of right where I want to be. I like to do 100. Cool. Classic Army. I'm really interested. Listen. I don't know what's going on here. Like I said, I don't know if I'm about to get trolled or what. I was going to create a new account in order from Airsoft GI since they contacted me and stuff, and I probably should have. Uh, I don't think they do anything malicious or anything like that, but I wanted to make sure they weren't going to try to, like, oversell these boxes uh, since they know that they're on kind of my list. So, all right, let's get this thing open. I do like classic army guns for the most part. So I didn't get trolled. Well, maybe. What is this? Some little piece. I don't know if that was from shipping or what, but I feel like I got open boxed. I'm gonna have to do some pretty serious looking uh, to make sure I didn't get open boxed, because I'd be, well, whatever, it's a mystery box. All right, so this little piece came off here. That's not a big deal. Let's, uh, I have to get it lined up to put it back on. All right, so we got a classic army mod four. Looks like a polymer, a polymer rail, and a BB stuck in there. A little M4, super light, super super light. Oh, we got some extra rail segments. A key mod rail. So we got some extra rail segments. Cool. This little guy. Oh, this is the bag of BBs that exploded. That came with a classic army. Ugh, high cap. That sucks. So many high caps. Don't even use them. All right. It's got a pretty nice little flat trigger on it. Micro switch. Oh no, the ENF series. Uh, electronic control system. And you can program it. Cool. Uh, looks like it does safe semi full, safe semi three round burst, safe three round burst full, safe five shot burst full, and safe semi semi, which I like safe semi semi because if you want to make a DMR out of it, then you can do semi auto only. To me, uh, ugh. I gotta, gotta get these airsoft manufacturers on the Dean's train, like 100%. Same thing with battery manufacturers. Be done with that to me, a crap. All right, so it's totally polymer, uh, not upset. It's really light, uh, pretty cool, I dig it. Key mod rail, I like this flash hider. It's just too bad it's bright freaking orange. Um, it sucks that they didn't include another flash hider in here, but whatever. This, I think this is probably the cheap box that I bought. I'm gonna say most likely. I'm gonna have to look this one up. Feels like it's got a pretty slim motor grip. Built in sights, it's got like the scar kind of type sights. Metal, it's cool. Folding battle sight, classic army. And it amazes me how much airsoft guns have changed. Like, used to, all this was added extra. Like rails, sights, these cool little charging handles, like all that stuff, like cool motor grips and everything. Like when you bought an M4, it was literally an M4 with like the old barrel style handguard, like, and it was basic. And you had to spend so much money upgrading. Flash hiders were all bird cages. Um, it just amazes me how far all that all this stuff has come. It's it's totally nuts. Anyway, I sound like an old guy. All right, let's figure out what this is. ENF003P. Let's try to search 
old Airsoft GI's website for that. Looks like it's a classic Army Skirmish ECS KM10. So, 10 inch rail. Yep, 10 inch rail. Okay, so it is a classic Army Skirmish ECS KM10 M4 carbine. Uh, it goes for 239 on sale right now for 215 One review with five stars. So, it's an entry level rifle. Okay, 603 inner barrel, MOSFET. Mm -hmm. Straight trigger, not terrible. 330 to 350, shoots kind of low, but I don't know why you put a 10 inch rail on something and then have it shoot 350. Uh, but what I'm wondering is which box this was. Let me go to my account and let's see. I really hope this was a cheap box because this thing's only 230 and I know the other boxes were more than that. So this actually looks like it was the Bigger Wins YouTube unboxing Airsoft Mystery Box, only 200 boxes. I paid 179.10 because they had a 10% off coupon. All right, so we have a little bit of redemption here, right? Airsoft GI didn't do me bad this time. Uh, I'm $60 over value. That's a lot better because, man, the last, I think months, months ago, maybe a year ago when I bought the last boxes, they were literally like $2 over value, like perfect, right? And I saw the video they put out that says like our system picks the mystery box values and all that. Yeah, whatever, okay. Um, I'm not saying it's not true, I'm just saying like, whatever. Um, so yeah, uh, pretty solid little beginner rifle. Um, I probably won't keep it just because it is like a straight up beginner rifle and I don't need any beginner stuff, unless it was something like really interesting. But uh, I call that a win. No, you're not back in my good graces, however. I'm not, I'm not as upset. Well, the whole... I'll tell you right now, the whole custom thing is still eating at me. And I need to make that video where I break down the cost analysis of everything. Because once you see... Once you break it all down and do the math, uh, you can see that they are making a lot of money off these things. Uh, and, yeah. So, I still wouldn't buy the customs. Look at this cat. Lovey, lovey cat. Meow, 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 meow. I'm a kitty cat. I'm a kitty cat. Meow, 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 meow. Y'all might remember that. That's some old stuff. All right. Anyway, so that's all I have for you today. Do do me a favor. Throw some comments. Right. Tell me what you think of Airsoft GI. Tell me some of the stuff you got in their mystery box. You know, just say whatever you want to say. One thing I do want to add real quick. So I'm thinking about making a mystery box Facebook page. And have everybody join it. That way, whenever we do Evike mystery boxes, Airsoft GI mystery boxes, or we do, uh, you know, any mystery box you get or that you do, that you go and you say what you have uh, on the mystery box on the Facebook page, so we can see what people got. Kind of create a little mystery box community because I know I'm not the only one that really likes doing mystery boxes, and you can kind of live through people vicariously. People can promote their YouTube channels. Anyway, if you're interested in that, please let me know in the comments because that's something I am thinking about doing, but I don't want to do it if there's not a lot of people that want to, okay? All right, well, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Kitty, kitty. Bye-bye. 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 Blah.